I want to talk to you briefly, because we don't have much time this morning, about the economy, where we're going, what we should expect, what's going to be changing in our lives. It wraps around management, because how we manage our firms in the next few years will be vastly different than the last few years and vastly different than the decade before that. We are not going to be able to manage our firms with the same expectations, with the same rationale, with the same plan that we've used in the past. If we do, we're setting up a model for failure. What we're going to have to do instead is, is determine a new plan based upon economic realities. And I'm as, I'm, I'm as excited about the future as Ken is in, in many, many ways, but there are some real dangers that we're going to have to face and, and things that aren't going to be just going away. We're going to have to face them, we're going to have to deal with them, they're going to be difficult. Here's the forecast. Let's change gears. Forecast is shown in the green on the right-hand side. It's a dotted forecast because it's a range. The yellow line is the actual results. You cannot see the yellow line under the green line because things have been tracking as my brother and I had forecasted. For the last 10 months, the economy has been rolling out exactly as we anticipated. And, and I, I, I know Ken was pulling my leg when he said economists are only right 20% of the time. But at ITR, our firm, we have a track record where we are right 96% of the time looking out a year into the future. And what we see is that the economy is cooling off in 2011. That's that flattest spot in the green section. And then it picks up again in 2012. When you look to the, to a little bit to the left of the green, you see a white section. That was the last recession. We caught the trough. We caught the rate of rise. For those of you that don't know ITR, we were, we were in print in 2003, warning about the recession of 2008 and 9, and that to be a recovery in 2010. The methodology I'm going to deliver to you today works. And if you want, I'm going to give you five things that you can write down. You may have to use the tablecloth, but you can write them down, and that you watch every month so that you can know what's going on in the economy. Now, I told you that the Germans, the, I think I did, the Germans, the French, the Brits, the Canadians, the Australians, and New Zealands are all moving towards austerity and balanced budgets. They are all doing what we should be doing, and we're not. They are going to provide a really solid investment opportunity. You'll be able to buy an Australian bond that probably pays a little more than a U.S. bond that carries no risk and no inflation value. So you have to ask yourself, what kind of sane investor buys a U.S. treasury when you can buy an Australian treasury or a German treasury and get the same return or a better return without the risk? When the world's a, a frightful, falling apart place, they run to the U.S. When the world's a safer place, they can run away from the U.S. And so that can mean a collapse of the dollar if we're not careful. Now, he made another comment about China, that they are not going to sink the economy of their largest customer. And that's probably true. And I wouldn't take exception with that, except for the fact that the Chinese think in terms of decades or centuries. We think in terms of two quarters. And if, all, if you're old enough to remember the Cold War, the big fear was, will the Russians think that they can survive this thing so that they are the nation that is left standing? And it wasn't whether, you know, who fired first, is who can survive this. And my fear is that it is mutually assured destruction of a financial nature. And if the Chinese say, you know what, we're both going to get hurt. But we can survive this. And that leaves us as the global power. Maybe it's worth it. So don't be sanguine about the value of the dollar and the flight to safety that we just saw. That's not a proof text to the strength of the dollar. That's a proof text to how bad the world was at the time. When the dollar can lose value to the euro, that's an ugly dog contest, by the way. That lets you know how shaky the dollar really is. And you need to be careful about that going forward. And as we do all of that in our planning, we'll come out successful. We'll be profitable. We'll have something that we can hand off to our kids if we own the company. We'll have a way to see the company live beyond us. Or we'll have built something that is enduring. And if we, and, and, and I don't know about you, but as we work through life, it's nice to think that we're building something that is enduring.